Yeah, how's your reception? Nice! I'm not getting anything on this. <laughs> Entertainment. If you like the show, we are puke and snot. If you didn't like it, we're going to tell us. Thank you very much. Be your last. When are you going to retire? When I no longer hear the sound of laughter. That's never stopped you anymore. All right, that's it. <laughs> you leave this place or fear for your life. I fear nothing. A brave man, are you? Yes, I'm so brave that whenever I'm getting a Heimlich maneuver, I keep on eating. <laughs> I'm so brave, I went to the king's forest alone, and I hunted bear. I bet that got chilly. <laughs> there I was, alone in the forest, stalking through the trees, when out of nowhere, a huge bear leaped out at me. <laughs> I crapped my pants. <laughs> well, I suppose you would if a bear jumped out at you like that. No, I mean just now, when I went, <laughs> Who are you? You asked me that last year. I thought we cleared this up. It's not my fault I don't remember you. It's your fault for not being more memorable. You're right. It must be my fault. Yes. Stop, stop, stop. Version 3.0. Hashtag. Good-looking guy in tights. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hashtag Mike. Scott Snot, yes. the not so little younger brother of Thomas Snot Jr. How's he doing? I'm not sure. He didn't show up at the Snot family reunion. I sent a homing pigeon to find him. It didn't come back. Now I've lost my homing pigeon. You can't lose a homing pigeon. If your homing pigeon doesn't come back, what you've lost is a pigeon. <laughs> developed a very special superpower, one I think you'll find quite useful in the show. A uh, superpower? Yes. Really? What is it? Hindsight! You... <laughs> You've developed hindsight. Yes. That's not going to help us. Yes, I see that now. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I return from all fun and merriment to the show I have since learned is inexplicably popular. Being popular at a renaissance festival is like being at the cool table in the cafeteria of a mental hospital. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new costume? Yes, thank you. Did you go to the royal tailor? No, he's terrible. Yes, he does unseemly work. <laughs> <laughs> he's always hemming and hawing. <laughs> He doesn't measure up. Oh. He's just so so. Oh. He's funny though. Yeah, he's a stitch. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still here. <laughs> Even after we just needled them. <laughs> no. I mean, they're damp and they're annoyed. Right. <laughs> Nonetheless, you look to you. Are you in decent enough physical condition for the rigors of Renaissance comedy? Jumping, leaping, swordplay, dodging vegetables? Absolutely. I, I recently had a physical. I'm fine. The doctor said don't eat anything fatty. You mean like burgers and bacon? He said no fatty. Don't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm fine. Do you, do you have any dietary restrictions? Just one. If I eat too much, my tights will explode. <laughs> I meant like exposure to gluten. If my tights explode, my glutes will be exposed. <laughs> You're applauding his glutes. Thank I you. Can't, I can't do the show today. What do you mean you can't do this show? It's my eyes. What about your eyes? I just can't see myself doing the show today. <laughs> I'm on a rough day already. Yeah. I got up this morning, put on this shirt, a button fell off. <laughs> Picked up this cup, the handle came off. Really? Reached for my sword, the blade dropped off. Wow, that is a rough day. Damn right, I'm afraid to go to the privy. <laughs> I was looking for you earlier and I couldn't find you. I was at the nursing home. A compassionate man. Actually, I was trying to get a date. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a blind date last week. I did. She left me breathless and misty-eyed. Pepper spray will do that. No kidding. I've been flat on my back for a week. Oh? But things are looking up. The court clown gave me a free ticket to the festival. Huh. What a nice jester. And... <laughs> See, they applaud and now it's active antagonism. <laughs> and the king has given me the privilege of helping his daughter shop for a new mattress. That's weird. Why does she need a new mattress? The princess is in distress. She's uncomfortable. Ah, could this have something to do with the pee? Yep, absolutely ruined the old mattress. That's why she needs a new one. I'm going to the fairy tale of the princess and the pea under the mattress. Under, on top of, all over, completely ruined. I'm talking about a round green... That's her. Not much to look at and a small bladder to boot. No, no, no. It's a fairy tale. Well, of course it is. But I like the scary ones. What? Like the horrible tale of the wicked orange man in the big white house. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All the people despised him because he was evil and cruel and despicable and deceitful and corrupt. Is that a fairy tale? God, I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get something off my chest. All right, go ahead. Hey, that's my chest. All right, I need to get something off your chest. All right. <laughs> Anybody? I heard one good thing over here. <laughs> All right, thank you. The joke stays in. <laughs> you know me only as Ralph Puke, but I have gone by many names. Yes, I spoke to your ex-wife last week. Several of your names came up. <laughs> 
Once there was an outlaw living in the forest. My name was Legend in these parts. Big deal. Parts of me are legendary too. <laughs> I was known as the Prince of Thieves. You mean you are? Yes. Dracula. That's the Prince of Darkness, you moron. I was wondering what you were doing out in the daylight. Oh, wait, the hat. I recognize the hat. It's about time. You're Kevin Costner. No, I'm not. <laughs> Can we have a hand for the lady, please? Idea. We need some free publicity for this show. How's that? I'm going to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel of rum. You idiot, you'll be smashed on the rocks. I'll be smashed long before I get to the rocks. <laughs> Why do you drink so much? I drink to forget. Forget what? I can't remember. <laughs> Don't you realize alcohol can be habit for me? Not if you take it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I read all about the evils of drinking oh, yeah? and it frightened me, so I gave it up. You gave up drinking? No, I gave up reading. <laughs> you know, I almost quit drinking when my wife left me. What happened? Lost my motivation. <laughs> well, that was uncomfortable, wasn't it? Maybe you should cut your drinking in half. I already did. I joined A. <laughs> All right, come on, hurry it up. Uh, there's somebody on after us. Who's after us now? No, I, uh, I mean later than us. I didn't know we were late. We're not late. We will be if you don't move this along a little faster. Really? Someone on after us, you know. Just come with that up all on your own. <laughs> That's it, I'm leaving. Where are you going? I gotta get to the hospital on the way over here. I got hit by a rented car. Hurts? Not anymore, but thanks. <laughs> Where are you going? I gotta help my grandmother. She fell down the stairs. Sell her? No, I think she could be repaired. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> pick up a dozen of these. You're gonna hear every damn one of them. <laughs> Sister's wedding, she's marrying an Irishman. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. <laughs> Where are you going? I gotta get home, my wife's gonna have a baby. When? About nine months after I get there. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna go watch my brother dance in that famous Russian ballet. Bullshoy! No, he's really dancing. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to a woman I just met. She's from Maine. Banger? Of course not, I just met her. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna go to my job. I'm a pilot in a bakery. A pilot in a bakery? I pick up the bread and I pile it on the table. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna go backstage and rewrite that joke. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna go home and rip off my wife's panties. Why? They've been riding up on me all morning. <laughs> You thought you were the only one. <laughs> All right, what's with the vegetable? I'm trying to eat healthy. Why? During the show? Of course, during the show. What's wrong with that? Well, it's just sort of a distraction. What are you talking about a distraction? A little bit. It couldn't possibly be a distraction. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. That's it. I'm going to call a penalty. A penalty? <laughs> Unnecessary rubbish. Oh, yeah? Where did you get that? Uh, Whole Foods. What's Whole Foods? It's like if NPR designed a 7-Eleven. <laughs> I eat so many of these, I can't sleep at night. Why? I can see through my eyelids. <laughs> now I'm going through a lot of these, I'm starting to grow my own vegetables. Will you be getting any this year? No, I'll be too busy growing my own vegetables. <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? I didn't hear you. What do you mean you didn't hear I'm me? I'm sorry, right here. I've got a blockage on this side. Well, let me see. Something in my ear, I don't know what it is. Oh, good Lord! There's a suppository in there! <laughs> oh. Now I remember what I did with my hearing aid. <laughs> what? You never made a mistake? <laughs> hey, I discovered something else in my garden this morning. Really? You know it's invisible and smells like carrots? No. What? A rabbit fart. <laughs> All right, come on, can we, we hurry it up? You know, there's somebody on after us. What? We saved the fart jokes for the kids toward the end of the show. That keeps them around because they, they know fart jokes are coming. 